Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode here on our single player world. Now today, uh, what we are doing is we're going to be building in this area here because we've got this ugly... Well, really it's this piece here that's not really working for us. <laughs> this uh, attempt at a elevator, which did work until things were fixed, which I thought were pretty cool when they were broken. So what we are doing today is we're going to first start off by removing this and I know I'm probably doing this a uh, really silly way because I know that... Uh, for instance, these are quicker. Or is it this quicker? Damn it. I'm pretty sure these are quicker at breaking those. That's alright. We'll go down this way. It's not important. Uh, what we're doing today is we're going to be building a new way up here. Because for those of you guys who might not know, uh, we actually travel here. We used to be doing this relatively often. Uh, in fact, until the piston glitch was removed, uh, the translocation glitch, that was a very important thing to many things that happened down here, which is kind of annoying. Uh, so what we are going to be doing is we are going to be building a new way up. And I think... Let's, let's check. Are we almost down? Yeah, we are. Cool. Um, yeah, and I think it'll be another elevator, but not redstone-y as you might uh, might expect. And we're going to give this a go. I'm, I've seen this before. I'm not too sure how it's actually done, but I've got some stuff on me which I think could be good to give it a test. So for those of you guys who might not know what happens down here, we have got a functioning... Wheat farm, because these guys actually do their job, don't you? Yeah, so these guys, they are not working. We're going to kill them. We're going to put some new new uh, uh, farmer villages down here. We need to actually get, if you have a look, this guy's actually a farmer. If we can get close enough to him. Uh, we need another farmer down here. Well, we can't get him, but those those two are both farmers. There used to be a third one in here, but they all, all kind of just uh, stopped doing their stuff. So we'll probably end up building this farm somewhere else, if I had to say so. Oh, what's in these chests? I've looted them for all this stone. Ah, well, at least, in fact, we're going to need this sometime soon, so that's actually not too useless. Uh, we used to have a cool cow farm over here, which we should have still a bunch of cows in. Yep. Doesn't work anymore because of the piston translocation glitch gone. Rather annoying. And we were going to make a mushroom one when we eventually found mushrooms, but still, nothing at all. And I want to quickly show you guys down here, because this is our sheep farm, which we never ever used, but we built it nonetheless. And it was kind of fun to build, and it's a fun little thing to have, despite the fact that we hardly ever use wool. So that one at least still works. We, we don't have any issues with that. Just the only issue is we never use it. So this elevator that I was talking about, and you guys might have worked it out from what I've got in my hotbar. Uh, I've never built one of these before. And what it is, is a minecart elevator. So what we're going to do, basically, I'll explain this to you, and I have worked out that this does work, and I'm pretty sure I've seen this, so I'm just, honestly, I don't know where the hell I've seen this before, um, but I've seen it everywhere, but I've, like, never actually uh, gone too in-depth with this. So what we're going to do, well, I've never done it before. So we'll do that, put a minecart, okay, can we hit that track there? Should be able to, and we'll do that there, right? So when we break this, the minecart, I think, will fall down onto there, is that correct? And we can then just do that. Now, I want to know just how how far down we can be. I'm pretty sure I can't remove ground here, can I? No, because we're just going to fall right through. Arrgh. So I want to test out just how far we can reach so we can use the least, like the fewest minecarts as possible and make our way up there faster. Because what's going to happen, I'll show you what happens now. So we'll put one in here, do that. I had another one on me, yep. Do one in there. And we will test this out. So, of course we get stuck in a block. Get us out of here. There we go. Oh, we'll get that at a later stage. Right, so we go up here. And then we can go up there. Like that. But I want to know just how far down we can, um, we can gather these from. So we'll get rid of that. Because it's not actually going where we're putting it right now. We just want to test this out. So we'll get rid of that. And we'll go up here. Here, so can we reach that? Can't reach that. Should be able to reach that. Right, so we can see what the height is there. That is one, two, three. So let's actually just test this out. Could we get one of these in here with one of those over there? No, that has to be one block higher. So we'll need this level here to be the uh, trapdoor level. So we need trapdoors to be 
One, two, three blocks in between them. Okay, that seems all right. Uh, I'm not too sure whether trapped... Actually, signs might work as well. Um, but I know trap doors work. So we will go with trap doors. Aside from that, I, I feel like these could potentially fall off. I mean, if, if we bump them, I could easily see how these could fall off. So maybe we'll just keep with trap doors. I think they are a bit safer. And what we'll do is we'll go up here. In, in, up. Significantly quicker. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that going up uh, this way here. Now, well, actually, uh, we've got this drop here. And I wonder if that's not maybe a better place to put it. Because this area is not meant to be a, a nice looking area. So, I mean, we might just do that, actually. All right, guys, so I'm just busy clearing this up, and I thought I'd bring you guys back. I never knew this was even, even able to happen. Look at that. What happens when I jump? Okay, it actually goes through. I just thought that was really weird <laughs> that it hit me on the head. Uh, but yeah, that is definitely going to be the plan, going up here. It's done, and I think it does work. I've had a little bit of a... I've, I've just covered this up a little bit, by the way, actually. Let's just make this look a little bit neater. Like that, maybe. Yeah, okay, that'll do for now. Uh, so what I've done is, I know this is kind of weird, having a minecart in here. Did something... Oh. I don't know what enchantment that is. Oh, not enchantment, uh, potion effect. The little sparkles, blue sparkles are. Uh, but this could end up becoming an issue over here. So when we jump down, there we go. That's the issue. That's the issue, right there. Okay, never mind. It's already become an issue. If we just push this over just a tad, and it, can we put one of these in there? Will that stop it from maybe bumping hitboxes? Uh, we'll drop down there. Now I hope. Now you see, we can we can fall through those because those are just entities. Uh, we can't click over here. So as soon as we jump, we can click our way in, and we can go like that. Uh, this one gives me a bit of trouble, but it, as long as you click for a bit, you eventually get it. And I'm not too sure why that gives me trouble. Now, as I press shift, I got rid of those stairs, because it wouldn't automatically put you on stairs. Now, I hope it doesn't look at this block any differently with the trap door on. Okay, it doesn't. Maybe that'll... Maybe that will solve our problem. Let's try see if we jump down here again. It doesn't push that way. We can still fall down. Uh, looks like we might have our solution to our problem. As I say, this one, I'm not too sure why that's a problem. Uh, I get the feeling. Let's just, uh, let's just drop down these again. I'll show you what I, what I think's happening. So as we jump up here, you see this, uh, there, right? Look at that. Can you see how there's a little bit of a gap there where you can see the other block? I'm not too sure why that gap is there, but it is there. So if we do this, okay, there, that worked that time. Uh, but I feel like that could have something to do with the fact that we can't get up there as easily. So the next thing, by the way, um, I'll go walk over to where we're doing the next thing. Let's just chuck that over there. All right. So, um, pretty much actually last episode, not last episode, but the episode before that, uh, you guys, uh, kind of agreed with me. It seemed like with the idea that pretty much everything at night is just a bit over the top, uh, for a single player world. And just in general for like, I could understand if we were like, adventuring i guess but as far as a builder goes like we can't build at night we can't enjoy our builds looking good with the lighting effects and anything like that without having a bunch of mobs now what i would suggest which would be kind of cool um and by the way this is kind of something that we we're going to be going to towards next uh which i thought would be kind of cool would be for instance actually i'm just thinking that could be too low uh is having a beacon effect which could potentially help you out with just getting mobs away. Maybe something like that. I don't know. Um, but just decreasing spawn rates or something like that. Because it be just becomes so stupid that you can't have fun at night. Like, night, you just have to sleep the night away. What's... Like, I don't see much of a point in that in terms of gameplay. You know what I mean? Like, game strategy. Just sleep the night away. Sleep half the, uh... Half the day away. Because I would honestly... I'd, I wouldn't mind playing at night. I would understand recording could be a bit weird uh, with the nighttime just being too dark to see stuff but overall i feel like it's it's a part of a game that's missed completely and i, I really find it sad so hopefully we can get something fixed with that because I, i'm sure as far as uh Mo Yang are concerned i'm sure they wouldn't want you to miss out half the half the day cycle every single time just because <laughs> it's a, a really stupid cycle and by the way have a look how many days we would have had to sleep away oh look at that how did i get that on how do I get that thing down the bottom? I think that's actually an Optifine setting, maybe. Is that that lagometer or whatever it is? 
Oh well. Uh, but yeah. Oh, I've still got to switch my frames down. I'd try to use, see what unlimited frames would do and... Um, yeah, they, they do alright. Uh, in fact, over here, look at it drop to 99, which is low for us. Uh, but yeah, unlimited frames. I got up to like 300, 400 or something the other day. Uh, we'll just get rid of that and quickly sleep the night away. But yeah, that's just what I'm thinking. I'm just thinking in general, that's one thing I hope will be fixed. And the other thing that um, I want to quickly go check out on is uh, just an area over there before we, we continue on. Now, what I, what I was thinking with the reason why we're taking this beacon away is... What? Okay, yeah, the reason we're getting rid of this beacon is because we want to create a few beacon effects around the place. And um, one thing, we'll, well, we've only got one beacon, so we're going to have to fight some more withers in the future. But I was thinking of putting it where we just put all these, these uh, things in the well there. But I feel like that's probably not as good of an idea as you would think at first, if you know what I'm saying. Like... I feel like it won't reach us majority of the time unless we are in the farm because it's about, what, 30 blocks or so down there. So I think the beacon's got a 50 block radius or something like that. It's it's not very far and that's including upwards. It doesn't just go all the way to the top of the world and back. It's only like a, a, a kind of circular radius if I remember correctly. I can't remember what it is, but uh, overall, that won't help us too much. So I'm thinking, because uh, we're going to be building... Look at this guy. Yeah. Notice me now? You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Oh, sorry, sheep. Uh, there we go. We'll get him. Through the horse's legs, can we do it? Nah. <laughs> I still don't get that, right? Like, you hit stuff, and sometimes, like that, look, the arrow just falls off sometimes. Very weird. That's another thing I want fixed in this game. <laughs> So many problems. Alright, so what we want to do is we want to get this thing in here. Because we're going to be building in here in the next few episodes. What is this? Episode 137? And what I was thinking would be kind of cool would be to put it in here. But then I thought, you know what? There's too many solid blocks. We're not going to do anything weird with that just yet. What I'm going to do is I'm pretty sure I've got a room underneath here somewhere. Which I dug out. Unless I filled it. No, I did. I dug it out. And we had a beacon here. And my plan was we could probably put this beacon in here. And have ourselves beacon effects for now. And we can have a look at what we can do about hiding a beacon in here. Because I want to have beacon effects throughout the city, the village, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I want them to be... Get out of there. I want them to be somewhat useful. Like, not like out in places that we can't reach. Or anything along those lines. I feel that's a bit useless and uh, a bit dumb to do it that way. And I'm sure everyone should agree with me. Because that is almost the definition of useless and dumb. Not, not having anything to do. There, so uh, we'll, we'll just fill in this. Uh, the other thing that we want to do today is a little bit of decorating in that area we were in just the other day. So uh, I'll be back with that. Alright, so the little bit of decorating that I was hoping to get down here. Let's just uh, zoom off here. I haven't actually done anything since last episode besides dig that out so that we've got a plan. Uh, if you guys have got any ideas what you want to see in there, let me know. Uh, I've got a few which I'm debating, but I, I've... I might not go with them because I'm not 100% certain on them. So if you got an idea, let me know because I'd love to hear it. The other thing is, as I say, um, we didn't do anything since the last time. But what I want to do is I still need to decorate these walls here with a, a bit more texturing. That's one thing we got to do. So we'll pop that one down there. That's for texturing. That one is for whatever we need wood for. That one there and that one there. These are pretty much the four block boxes I use the most. Kind of feel... Yeah, I kind of feel like we need to do something a bit different with the fact that we do use these quite often. Uh, but yeah, that's one thing I want to do. Uh, those walls. And then the other thing is, I was planning on putting a garden here, but I realize now that there's actually... We've taken care of this area here, so that's not a problem. Which is, uh, which is kind of good. Which, yeah, it doesn't make much of a difference to us, but uh, it's kind of good. So all I want to do now is just put a few vines around the place and just make this look a little bit nicer. And the other... Another idea. Just more ideas. Ideas are flowing today. Um, the other idea that I have for this place today was I was going to put a well in here because I'm on this whole well topic today and I was thinking of doing another well in here and not just a small one in this area here because I was wondering what I could put in there and I feel like that would be not a bad thing. I just want to fill up these gaps here with a bit of stuff. Yeah, that's looking good. That's what we want to do. So I'm thinking I might just go ahead, build another well in here. 
do a few of these things on the wall here. Now, if you guys don't know what I do uh, with this, what I like to do is I like to chisel out a bit of this, like, with my, my pick. And then just add some mossy, some cracked, all, all different sorts of stone into these places just to make it work a little bit better. And it looks like we don't even have any mossy. So it looks like I'm going to get my first chance of actually using the uh, the elevator over there because we've even got a vine farm on the, on that side there. Uh, I'll, I'll get going with a few of those things, guys, and I'll be right back. You're right, guys. So if I could say anything else, like, about that issue of the fact that nighttime is really not fun in this game at all, uh, I just got blown up uh, by a creeper. I didn't die, but uh, you can see I'm recovering. Uh, as I got out of our well. So now our well has got a giant, like, crack out of it on the other side there. Which, as I say, it's just... Oh, man, it's there's no fun in this, like, nighttime of this game, you know what I mean? And uh, I... As I say, it's just, I need, don't even have to say anything more as I do it. As I come out of the well, bam, got some more stuff, which kind of, uh, just ruins it a bit. So it's, it's just very frustrating. Uh, we'll, we'll get that out. We cool. We cool. Uh, so now what I'm planning on doing here, like, just if you guys are interested in what I'm doing, uh, what I like to do is I like to texture these up a bit. And my trick to getting this to work a little bit better is I like to put these together you can see they work very well. There's like a crack in there that works quite nicely. Cracks over there which work quite nicely together. And you can see it. They just kind of pull together quite well. So it, it almost, you don't notice that they're as blocky. The other things that I like to put together are these as well. You can see crack moves well. Crack moves well. As weird as this sounds. They all just play in to each other which is really, really awesome. So I've got to do these sides. The next thing that I was thinking about which, uh, let me just get these. Uh, which, yeah, really didn't help, was, um, the fact that I just put that beacon up. But it's nowhere near us right now. So, it wasn't really too useful, but it will be when we go into the future. So, don't worry. We will have use for that beacon. There we go, another wall done. And the last wall done. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a quick and easy well, I think. And it should be, should be amazing. So, we'll, we'll do that. Do that. A few random blocks there. I wish I had some cobblestone on me, but that's alright. We'll, we'll do without it. There we go, there we go, there we go. Don't use too much green. There, 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 and one green in there. Perfect. Not too much green in it. Fantastic. Alright, so the well that I was thinking about, we will be putting in over here, roughly. Let's just, uh, let's do this here. And we want it to be mainly wood, I would imagine. So we'll do something like this. This is a, a quick improvised well, because I really feel like making a well. But I don't feel like going over like the big job of making it 100% accurate because overall we could go on for hours making wells. But uh, I want to just see what I can come up with quickly. So we don't need those, we do need those. We'll put these in here. There, one, two, three, four. And you know what we can even do? We can even use our new roof style that we've uh, learnt recently. We can even give that a try maybe. See how we go with such a narrow roof. There we go, we got that there. Uh, next step, we will need some of these. In fact, no, not that. Uh, these around here like this. There. So speed welling at its finest. We do those, do that there, like that. Let's check how this well's looking. Okay. Uh, we'll get rid of those. And next step will be probably adding in the roof. So for a roof, we could... I'm just going to do our new, new, uh, fancy roof. We could give that a go. Let's give that a go. We'll do one of these. Just see how this looks. Well, actually, no, we won't be able to get one of those roofs out. What I was going to do was going to do one of the, uh, roofs kind of like what we've done on the other side in our farm area. But I guess it's actually probably better off that we don't do that. Just because it will kind of clash with our roofs over here. So we do that. Man. What is with me today? There we go. There we go, and bam, bam, oh, man, there we go, alright, so we got those, we can now just, uh, maybe sl slab the roof up, because I feel this roof will be a bit too high if we do it otherwise, we can give it a go, but I think it'll be a bit too high otherwise, like that, uh, oh yeah, we can actually have a cool looking roof, this is actually gonna be an interesting roof, let's see how this goes. Uh, mistakes. You see, this is why sometimes trying to build on the fly and build a bit faster might even be useful because we're going to come up with a bit of a strange design for a, a well on the fly with things that I probably wouldn't have tried otherwise. So there we go, we do that. Uh, we can now do that. 
that, 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 and then take this up slowly. There. There, there. Like that. Oh man, I think we've got ourselves. I get the feeling we've just absolutely pulled this out of absolutely nowhere and come up with an amazing design, I hope. Let's, let's clear this up. Now the moment of truth. Bam. Very interesting roof, but I actually do like it. It's got like a very awesome, like chunky look to it. I do kind of like these over here, which are actually another comment which I saw, which was that you guys really like the uh, the cobblestoney stone trims that I like to do, and I really do love them. They are they something that really has almost pulled the city together, like something that you find in all your builds, which just make them make your builds more. I don't know, like bring consistency through everything. Uh, but yeah, one thing I was thinking about, which I've, I've been meaning to talk to you guys about this whole episode, which I've been forgetting about, is uh, the solution to our nighttime problem with with mobs and stuff. We could do, uh, which I don't really like. Oh man, I actually prefer this with the with the actual uh, wooden blocks there. Uh, yeah, this is something I don't actually like the idea of, but it can work. Is we could perhaps try and fill up the mob cap by... Wherever we go, like all of these grounds under uh, below the ground, just going ahead and filling it all in, like well, uh, breaking it all out actually, and uh, making sure that no mobs can spawn on the ground because they'll all be spawning underground. So we just leave like big spawning areas. But I feel like we'd end up always having way too many mobs in the world anyway, so it might just end up causing us lag or something like that. But yeah, it's just uh, it shouldn't be that way. You know what I mean? It just shouldn't be that way. What I want to do is I want to get these out, and oh, ooh, got one there. Perfect. I was just gonna say we need to find one of these. So let's just do. Uh, there we go. That'll give us enough. Perfect. There we go. So I want to just put in some of these. Not those. <laughs> some of these around here. Man, why? Oh, I know what's going on. I'll chuck those away. We'll have to do this there because just like uh, pumpkin blocks and other weird blocks in this game you, ca you can't place them oh we should get that one back yep you can't place them unless there's a block there but then as soon as you place them you can get rid of the block very silly but it will it will do something for us so there we go we're not going to have a way out of this like a we're not going to have this as a, an entrance way to something I don't think at the moment Maybe we can connect this up to our tunnels, which uh, we, we actually have got a bit of tunneling to do in the future. But yeah, I think that works out very, very well. Very, very well. Maybe we can just do a few little things like that. And like that. And uh, by the way, I'm, I'm feeling like we're probably going a bit long on this episode. But I just want to finish off this area here because I'm, I'm not happy with the way it looks. It looks very iffy. <laughs> so if we can just get a, a few little bits of green in here, I think that'll... Do massive improvements to this place, and I think, is that all we had? I, I swear I brought another stack. Have we gone through two stack? Oh, no. Like I was going to say. Uh, yeah, we, we definitely shouldn't have gone through all that. I was like, that's next to nothing. All right, so we'll do that, do that. And just a little bit of stuff in the corners here, just to make it look a bit more presentable. And maybe some over here. Okay, cool. That's looking much better. Much, much better. So what I'll do is I'll just cobblestone a bit of this ground around it. Nothing too much, but I'm really glad with the way that turned out. So for today, guys, I think that will do it for today's episode. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about my, first of all, my solution to digging out large areas of land underneath here, which can work. We can do it. I'm not 100% opposed to it, but I'm not 100% for it. Uh, so if you guys think that's a good idea, let me know. The other thing is, tell me what you think about that. Tell me what you think about the fact that mobs are over the top. Um, and also what you want in here. So there's a lot of things. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for being awesome. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.